What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that allows you to create custom toolbars with tools from multiple different extensions or other tools inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. And so if you're anything like me, you have a number of different extensions inside of SketchUp and sometimes it can get a little bit annoying having to go through and find different tools, right? Like a lot of the time, it would be really nice to be able to take the different tools like some stuff from Joint push pull and from curve aloft and other things like that and have them in one toolbar. So this extension is going to give you the ability to create custom toolbars inside of SketchUp. So this extension is called Toolbar Editor and you can download it for free from the Sketchication extension warehouse. So I will link to that in the notes down below. And basically the way that it works is when you install it, it's going to pop up a, um, an option in the window editor for toolbar editor. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to create custom toolbars. So for example, let's say that I did a lot with complex surfaces. Well, what I could do is I could click in here and I can add a toolbar over here and click on this and we're going to call this complex surfaces, right? Well, on the left-hand side, this is where the names of your toolbars are going to be. On the right-hand side, you can find the different tools that you want inside of this toolbar. So for example, one thing that I might want is I want might want the, um, I might want some tools from Sandbox Tools. So for example, probably what I want is I want from scratch because that allows me to make a grid. I can just drag this over here in order to add that to this toolbar. So in addition, I would probably want the Smooth tool um, just because that's a good tool for like uh, sculpting and other things like that. But then this is where this gets really cool. Let's say that I wanted to add um, like uh, something from Curvaloft, um, which is another extension that I've downloaded and installed. I could search for Curvaloft and then I can find things like Loft by Spline and Skin Contours. And so in addition, you can also if I was to close this out, you could add a separator in here. So I could separate these different tools. So I could see that these are from different tool sets. And so let's say I also wanted something from joint push pull. Well, I could look for joint push pull right here. And I could add the joint push pull function as well as maybe like the vector push pull or something like that. And then once you're done, so you've got your complex surfaces tool set, you can just click on apply. Well now, you can see how this creates a toolbar called complex surfaces. So now I've got tools for creating things from scratch and other things like that. And so now I can access all of those different tools in here. So for example, now I've got access to the tool um, from, from scratch tool. I've also got access to other things in here like joint push pull and the smooth tool. So if I was to, for example, sculpt this up, instead of me having to go find joint push pull or vector push pull, and so I can just come in here and select all of this. And then I can activate vector push pull, which is from a completely different tool set. And I could use this to create a 3D surface really quickly. So you can start grouping these toolbars by function. And then you can also see that those are gonna be inside of your toolbars function right here. So by being able to create those custom toolbars, you could have as many toolbars as you want in here with the tools that you want. All right, so I will link to this extension in the notes down below. I'll also link to a couple of videos about a couple of the tools that I mentioned in case you wanna learn more about those. But leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Um, as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.